SPRAT's Rope Access Certification Requirements establishes a performance-based rope access certification program. Eligibility and certification requirements for three levels of rope access certification and a minimum baseline of knowledge and skill that a rope access technician should possess at each certification level. A performance-based evaluation cannot address all knowledge or skill that may be applicable to all types of work requiring the use of rope access systems. Consideration should be given by an employer to determine an individual's suitability and any additional training requirements for the specific rope access systems, equipment, and techniques required of a particular type of work. Obtaining a SPRAT rope access certification requires successful completion of an evaluation administered by an independent evaluator and a written test. A SPRAT certification is valid for three years from the initial date of certification. A subsequent certification completed during the last six months of a current certification is valid for three years from the current certification's expiration date. SPRAT rope access certification is available to any individual 18 years of age or older. Training is required within six months prior to initial certification at each level. Training is recommended prior to recertification. There are no experience requirements to become a SPRAT Level 1 technician. Experience is required to be eligible to obtain each higher certification level. A minimum of 500 hours of documented rope access experience and a minimum of six months is required at each certification level prior to being eligible to attempt upgrading to the next certification level. SPRAT has a direct entry program that recognizes rope access experience gained with other rope access certifications. The SPRAT written test is specific to each certification level and is based on SPRAT documentation. Available online, the written test consists of a total of 50 multiple choice and true or false questions. A score of 80% is required to pass the written test. The written test is open book. Candidates are allowed to consult SPRAT documentation while taking the written test. Candidates are expected to conform to the performance principles found in Section 4 of SPRAT's Rope Access Certification Requirements throughout the evaluation. Performance principles apply during completion of all maneuvers, system construction and operations, and rescue requirements. Performance principles serve as the basis for grading candidate performance. Candidate performance of requirements may be graded as a pass, which denotes satisfactory performance, a fail, which constitutes failure of the evaluation, or a discrepancy. Three issued discrepancies also constitutes failure of the evaluation. Evaluators are required to provide an explanation for any issued fail or discrepancy prior to a candidate being assigned to another exercise. To obtain a Level 1 certification, while adhering to performance principles, candidates must demonstrate fundamental maneuvers, as well as ascending and descending, past an edge negotiation with rope protection, a deviation, and past knots, performing a rope-to-rope -rope transfer, negotiating a re-anchor, and horizontal aid climbing. Candidates must tie knots of four different types, construct a two-rope system suitable for use in rope access, and construct and operate a raising and lowering system. Candidates must perform a rescue exercise that simulates rescue from both ascent and descent modes. To obtain a Level 2 certification, a candidate must demonstrate proficiency in Level 1 technician requirements, adherence to performance principles, analysis of systems used to complete requirements, vertical aid climbing, constructing a two-rope system for edge negotiation, a retrievable two-rope system, and a remote rescue system, performing raising and lowering operations from suspension when a load is suspended, and a cross haul that uses multiple raising and lowering systems. Candidates must perform a rescue on the same two-rope system followed by a rope-to-rope -rope transfer and rescue of an individual suspended from energy-absorbing lanyards. To obtain a Level 3 certification, a candidate must demonstrate proficiency in lower-level requirements, adherence to performance principles, analysis of systems used to complete requirements, constructing and using a deviation or re-anchor, raising and lowering past knots, demonstrating lateral movement of a load using tension rope systems, and performing two rescues from lower level maneuvers. A SPRAT certification belongs to the rope access technician. 
Candidates have the responsibility to follow the evaluation site's access work plan, to act professionally towards other parties in the evaluation process, and to adhere to SPRAT's performance principles during an evaluation. Candidates have the right to provide feedback on any public SPRAT documentation, to not be asked by an evaluator to do something that would violate SPRAT's performance principles, to ask questions to clarify an evaluator's instructions, to an explanation behind an issued discrepancy or fail, and to appeal or register a complaint regarding an evaluation. SPRAT's Candidate Preparation Checklist, which includes these rights and responsibilities, is available to assist in ensuring that a candidate is ready for an upcoming evaluation. SPRAT documentation is publicly available and free of charge on SPRAT.org.